Alex, Alex, something's wrong with Mr. Peppercini. What, what are you talking about? What, what? No! No, Mr. Peppercini! It's a lie! Oh, Mr. Peppercini's gone! <laughs> you left his two cents. Wait, what are you, what were you doing with these tissues? Oh, that's disgusting! Mr. Peppercini! I miss you! I miss you! I miss you! I love you, Mr. Peppercini! Oh, I'm so sorry you didn't have to do this to yourself! We all loved you! Yo, ever heard of Jerk Man? My grind so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself why would I make time for you lames? At all costs, cause I'm a boss. I'ma break them off, yeah, gotta break them off. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Prime Time with Alex Stein. I'm your host, Alejandro Stein, and tonight is a very glorious evening. We are doing a mini fish tank reunion. We got Dunye, we got Jimmy, we got some surprise special guests. But before we get into all of that, I want to welcome on the woman, in my opinion, that should have won fish tank, but unfortunately she came in second place, which is the first loser. But nonetheless, she's not a loser in my eyes. We want to welcome on Taylee from Fish Tank. What's up, Tay? Hi. Where do I look? You just kind of look that oh, way. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. What the heck, Tay? I wanted you to win so bad, I'm so bummed out. I know, I am too. I got third. Technically third? Yeah. Shinji got second, yeah. technically? Yeah, whatever. Really, you should have gotten first. And and I'm not just kissing your derriere, I mean, you're willing to shave your head, I guess everybody shaved their head at the end of the day, but you are a woman that did it. <laughs> and you're rocking the Sinead O'Connor vibes, looking good. Thanks. The tweet that we just posted, everybody's like, oh, Tay's looking pretty. <laughs> You're working. It looks good. You'd be surprised. You know, you shave your head. I remember Vance in season one, he shaved his head, and he went from, like, you know, a geek to a freak. He looked like uh, uh, he looked like uh, um, uh, Vin Diesel or something when he shaved his head. Yeah. That's, yeah. Am I getting a phone call? Gosh, dang it. Sorry, I get all these phone calls from all these scammers. <laughs> I, I was involved in a Bitcoin scheme where I, I schemed a bunch of people out of Bitcoin money. Oh, man. Really bad. No, people are coming after me. They're threatening to kill my cats. Oh man! And I, I have a cat that's not, pregnant. Yeah, you were talking about that on the show. How, yes, it about it, it's not going good at all. The baby's about the babies are going to come out. So if you need a cat, make sure to email me at pimponablimpshop.com. Now I see something. What is going on in the in the booth over there? Uh, nothing. Don't no, don't worry about it. Jimmy, what the hell is that? A doll or is that is that baby <laughs> Tiffany? Um, yeah, I couldn't, it's a long story, but I couldn't get a babysitter, so baby Tiffany. Jimmy, I know this is a kid's show, but there's no babies allowed on my set! I, I, what, what do you want me to do, leave the baby at home alone with the dog? What, are you, <laughs> dude, don't smoke, are you What do you serious? mean? <laughs> dude, <laughs> don't smoke on the show! Yeah, we're like, smoking, <laughs> Taze must have a cigarette, yeah, I don't care that a baby's around, we're I'm gonna sorry, have cigarettes, right. Jimmy. I'm, I'm okay, so okay, sorry. listen, listen. She can't. She can't do smoke. Oh, ooh, she can in about twenty years. Ooh, mm. no, come on, Alex. She's not doing on. smoke. I'm doing smoke. All right. Did She's you, doing second. You think I smoke. want to bring bring my baby here? Like the babysitter fell through. I think the babysitter found out I work for you, and uh, yeah, I just didn't go through. Here, show up a close up of me, George. I don't give a damn about your stupid baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a damn about this secondhand smoke. The only thing I give a damn about is catching up with these fish tank survivors, okay? I I'm horrified right Bring now. Bring that baby over here. I want to, Does it want a little secondhand palm all smoke? No, I don't want my baby anywhere near you. I didn't want my baby well, near you before you started Well, then don't bring your baby on the smoking. show then. Then it won't get secondhand cigarette smoke. How about that? I didn't want my that? baby near you even before you started smoking. Palm all cigarettes are the least addicting <laughs> cigarettes. This is what they say. All doctors say these are the least addicting. So it's not even bad for them. <sighs> Not even bad for babies? Is that a, one of their advertising? She's got to start it sometime. I guarantee your daughter's going to smoke. <laughs> More than cigarettes. Why, why do More you, than cigarettes. Why do you think that? Because she, you work for me. So obviously, I mean, <laughs> she's going to be exposed to a lot of messed up stuff. Oh, gosh. <laughs> can we can we react to the, the, the Pfizer ad, please? Oh, yeah. So I what? know that we love our health. That's why we're smoking these cigs. 
Um, we want to talk about the latest ad from Pfizer. Did you see Travis Kelsey, the guy that plays for the, the Chiefs? Um, isn't he like dating Taylor Swift? Oh, yes, everybody knows like, what he I hate I hate that shit so much. Like I mm -mm, I don't like following that kind of stuff, but it's like inevitable to see on the internet. Yeah, well, I love it. And you know what I also love? I love cigarettes and I love vaccines. Let's play this latest <laughs> ad from Pfizer. Hey, hey! <laughs> no. Hello, I am Bamba. <laughs> and I want to thank Taylor Swift's boyfriend, Travis Kells, <laughs> for telling me about Pfizer's new vaccines. <laughs> now that I've received my fourth booster, <laughs> I definitely won't get COVID-19. That's true. <laughs> transmission. Here is a song I wrote that Taylor Swift can sing for Travis. <laughs> This is a long commercial, <laughs> Pfizer. They must have been a lot of I love the vaccine. I love the vaccine. Put the booster. Put the booster. Put, 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 put the booster. My bottle. <laughs> thanks, that's, that's not where thanks, it goes, I don't think. Thanks, that's, Travis Is that really where it goes, Jimmy? Jimmy? did make me important. My testicles is still work. <laughs> Thank you, Pfizer, for paying me to make this. Thank you, Pfizer. So that was a new Super Bowl ad from Pfizer. What did you think about it, Tay? Uh, I could believe it, honestly. I could see that on television. I know, because people are retarded. Um, oh. I don't want to say that whole word. Hey, could you Regarded. keep your voice down a little bit? She's trying Jimmy, to, go to sleep. Get that, you, Brandon. Get off the show, Jimmy. Get take your baby and take it to the nearest uh, uh, adoption center, or go to California and do a late term abortion. I don't care at this point. I'm sick of it, Jimmy. <laughs> I know a place where you can still abort that baby. Is it under 90 days old? It, it, it's actually 90 days old today. Well, then we can get it aborted tonight. Okay. Let's go to California. Okay, okay. All right. Alex, let's get out caption. of here and go to California. Oh, no, I love the caption contest. No, go to Canada. You can do assisted suicide, Jimmy. All right, let's do the caption contest real quick. So, Jimmy, don't. Oh, and we didn't wait. even talk about Mr. Pepperoncini. Rest in peace. Well, you you were you were laughing at the beginning of the show. It's like you forgot to be sad. Tay said a very funny joke, a very funny Holocaust joke that I was very. It was what? actually. <laughs> what? It was very funny, actually. It was it wasn't in poor taste sad. like most Holocaust humor. Um. R.I.P. Mr. Pepperoncini, you were a real one. Uh, I don't know if you meant to die. I saw that you were watching Jerkmate ads were running, and uh, there's a bunch of tissues. So uh oh. Yeah, I don't know if this was done on purpose or accidentally, but either way, we lost a legend. So just it's we're gonna so take good. a quick moment of silence, everybody. We can just okay. Come on, sound guys. Mr. Pepperoncini, he would have loved that though. He, Mr. Pepperoncini, would have liked humor, but. Rest in peace. I don't like it. Okay, that's enough. He, Mr. Pepperoncini, he didn't have genitals. He didn't have genitals, so he wouldn't have been able to get an erection, but always an erection joke. What would get erect? Nothing. His heart. His heart was erect. <laughs> what was the sound his heart made? Myocarditis. That was, that was when his heart exploded. Yeah, he had fetal alcohol syndrome. He was a baby. All right. <laughs> So, we're going to play the, my favorite part of the show, the caption contest. I hate captions. I think they're freaking uncreative and they're stupid. And this is a picture of Darius, the Mick Darius. Oh, man. We made a human Big Mac last night. Oh, yeah, I did watch that. Did you see yeah. that? Yeah, we yeah, were going to do good. it with you, but Brandon said, no, we're not allowed. So, you got lucky. Well, I mean, I went through six weeks of it. So. Yeah, I know. You basically went through hell. We couldn't yeah. even put you through anything close to that. Okay, now let's run through these captions, Brandon. No, no, this is my thing. This oh is my, my thing. God, Jimmy, this is take my that thing. baby to Just Canada. Read okay. The stupid oh. captions. Okay. George, um, read the captions. Um, yeah, let the baby do the captions because the baby's so smart. <laughs> How about the baby read the caption? Okay. Show the baby. Yeah, it's so smart. Hey, baby Tiffany, what's two plus two? You're killing us, Tiff. Look how dumb Tiffany is. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, what's six times six? 36, 36. 
It's not 36, mm. dude. It's 54. Okay. Everybody knows that. Shut up. Oh, All right. You said you're ageist. Okay. okay. I am an ageist. Yeah. Yes, I am. No, I hate babies. It's showing. I'm anti-babies. I would like... Listen, if there wasn't a baby born ever again, I'd be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's valid. That's valid. I'm saying. All right, let's read these captions. All right, captain. All right, captain. Captain, captain one, at Zergle Jerk. Ugh, smack slips. You got into my hair. But you're bald, Darius. What hair are you talking about? Why are you smiling? Oh, I like that, because you mean his, his nether regions, his yes, pubic yes, hair. That's yes. disgusting. Okay, number one, you block that person. All right, number two, Cecil Hoff 6169. Darius accidentally found himself at the wrong end of a glory <laughs> hole. Okay, that was pretty good. Darius, he goes no, to glory yeah, holes. I heard yeah, that. yeah, I heard he really that. does. That's not even a joke. All right, number three. All right, come on, we can do this, Tiffany. All right, uh, at Trump one, told you, never trust a fart. Okay. This last one's my favorite. Number four, at G's, which black aroni and cheese. <laughs> now, I like that. I like that, because that doesn't seem racist or anything. That sounds like just, you know, play BLM. Yeah, it's a play yeah. on words. It's not negro and cheese, right? Yeah, no. That, that still is black in Spanish, which is not. Oh, they're offensive. in a, Tiffany and Brandon are in a stare off. Jimmy, if you don't get that baby and make it smoke a cigarette, I'm going to kick you <laughs> off the set. Yeah, okay. Let's have baby. Why can't baby Tiffany have her first cigarette? <laughs> um, it's it's more of just the the, the Why? legality. Why she's not going to get cancer from Maybe one off cigarette camera, off camera? Well, I think the developmental milestones is you start smoking at six months, so I think it's a little early. I don't know about that. Did yeah. you give her any Delta Nine gummies? Uh, she was already pretty spaced out. <laughs> give her, her some milk. Delta Nine, dude. I don't know. She was drinking earlier. She's pretty. She's pretty fucked. You up. did give her alcohol. Okay, that is yeah. good. Yeah, they no, actually no, say it's I good mean, for teething. No, I'm not gonna lie. She, you know, she had one too many bottles. She was throwing up, slurring her words. She Shut up, Jimmy. Walk. Shut up, dude. I'm about to smoke a cigarette right in your baby's face. <laughs> All right. Um, before we do that, though. Hold on. Twenty dollars super chat. Twenty dollars super chat from Matthew course. Adams. Uh, super cute baby girl. Good thing she looks like her mother. Hashtag girl dad. That's fair. I like anything that makes fun of Jimmy. Okay, so guys, vote one, two, three, or four. Which caption you like the best? All right, now let's get the show on the road, guys. We got to start bringing on the fish tank. This is what the fish tank fans want. They want to know the inside scoop of what happened at that house and you know the motivations behind winning or losing the whole entire game. So with that being said, we got to do a quick ad read. Guys, it's 2024 and you must start taking care of your liver now more than ever. Why, you ask? Because the latest data from the American Heart Association indicates that adults with fatty liver are 3.5 times more likely to have heart failure than those without. I'm having it a little myself right now. The American Liver Foundation says that over 100 million Americans have a fatty liver, which means many people are at risk. We throw literally everything at our livers, cholesterol, alcohol, toxins, Tylenol, statins, cigarettes. So that's why some of us have a sluggish fatty liver that makes us gain weight and lose energy. For decades now, your liver has helped you with over 500 key functions every day. It's time you help your liver. There is a solution, Liver Health Formula, an all-natural supplement which contains 11 clinically proven botanicals that help recharge and protect your liver. So if you're looking to ignite your fat-burning metabolism, boost your energy, transform how you look and feel, you guys need to try Liver Health Formula, and when you do, you receive a free bottle of blood sugar formula to reduce those sugar cravings today. So when you order, go to Try Liver Health Formula by going to getliverhelp.com slash Alex and claim your free bonus. You get that free gift when you go to getliverhelp.com slash Alex. I know you need that, Tay. How's your liver doing after that house? You probably have liver pangs. Well, uh, it's off and on, you know. That's why mm -hmm. I'm smoking now. You drink a lot. Those are good for your liver. Yeah, they definitely are. They're good for everything. They're good for babies, too. All right, <laughs> so this is our first clip. Are we going to play the clip, or are we going to uh, bring on Dunye? We'll get Dunye queued up, and then we can... Let's do one of the two of the first clips, and then we'll bring Dunye okay, on. Okay, perfect. Now, this is the Taymaker clip. Legendary. We got Evander Holyfield Jr. in the building. Tay, G.I. Jane vibes. Watch this clip. Oh, God. Look at this. This is epic. Ooh. Ooh, look at this cat fight. Oh! <laughs> Woo, Tay, look at you, I Mike Tyson. Final on your face. Now, bitch, you hit her first. What's your weak wage? Dunye. Oh, Dunye had your bag. Hmm? Oh. Look at this slow mo. Boom! <laughs> so, Tay, tell us what was the motivation behind this moment right here? So, uh, I was having a feeling that Brittany and Trish were going to scheme against me okay. and like destroy all my shit. So I uh, 
took matters into my own hands and I was destroying my own shit in front of them. Okay, that's and that's psychological so warfare. What I did was is I poured paint on the vinyl and I threw it in her direction and then she picked it up and like smashed me in the face with it. And then I had my bag of yarn in my hand, so I was swinging that and they all fell out anyways. So yeah. it was an empty bag of yarn. And then she popped me in the face in that video. Mm -hmm. And that was what made me react like that. Like, yeah, she pushed you first. Because I, it was mainly when she popped me in the face. Like, you can see my head, like, snap. And that's when you came that's, around. Yeah, that, that, like, when I said, bitch, after she hit me, and then I hit her, like, that was, that, it was the pop in the face. And you blame so. Scott Sullivan a little bit for teaching you and getting you fired up? Because the more you yeah. train boxing, you want to, you want to use it. You want to use some yeah. of those skills. Yeah, I got put in a self-defense situation, and that. That was how I felt, at least. We need to blame Scott. Scott Sullivan, if you're watching this, dude, Oops. it's your fault. You're letting these women get abused like that. And then Trisha Militia, did you have any backlash from that? What did anybody, what were the consequences for that? I mean, I felt really bad when that happened. So, I mean, the consequence was the guilt, really. Yeah. Like, I, I was, like, thinking I was about to get kicked off, like... Well, in a way, they could have easily kicked you off. Yeah, yeah, a thousand percent. And I mean, I even told Trish, and that when it was happening, it was more targeted towards Brittany to begin with. But Trish, like, kind of took matters into her own hands and thought I was going after her too. Yeah. Um, I just understood that Brittany was there to like fuck with my head. So. And, and I, I had told you this a little bit, though. People don't realize the mental wear and tear it takes oh, yeah. in that house. So yeah. describe some of it. Do you still have nightmares? I saw TJ I said haven't, it. I haven't dreamt. Really? That's kind of weird. Yeah, I haven't dreamt anything. Um, the hardest thing was waking up. Like, I can't wake up to an alarm, but I can wake <laughs> up to someone talking. Like, if okay. some, like how Ben would wake us up every night. Mm -hmm. uh, I can wake up to someone talking to me. But not my alarm. It, oh, that's it's, weird. Like, the sound effects that just kind of, I don't know, it helps me see. Yeah, you're just used to the TTS yeah. and playing in your head. So I, I just, I just, uh, I'm more wary of people. Like, if someone wakes me up, I'm like, yeah. like you're, you're trying nervous. to, you're trying wow. to touch you're my You're like, stuff. have those prison like, vibes. You've been institutionalized by the tank. Yeah. That is kind of scary, but that's also kind of cool, though. That's weird that you can go into a house and, like, be institutionalized. Uh, Alex, we got another $20 super chat. Let's from, read it. Uh, Zach is whack. Jimmy sneak attacks Dom Lucre, earns my respect. Today he shows off the living result of his weak sperm. Respect gone. <laughs> Fire Jimmy and Tay should have won. Yeah, I agree. I agree. To be honest, the punch was when I was like, "All right, I'm Team Taylor now." That was pretty sick. Well, and, and we don't want to say too much, but I remember, I remember, like when I gave you the chips and I left, I was like, "I really, really want Tay to win," and they're like, "Well, we just don't know. We don't know, you know." Um, like I do think that you were like the fan favorite, but for some reason, I don't know why. I mean, I really don't know why you didn't win. I mean, Brandon, why don't you think she won? I mean, I know mm. TJ was likable, but. Taylor was the bulldog of everybody in there. She she would have fought the hardest. You know, opinion. I think it's hard to let like what you when you become the villain, it's hard to let the villain win. And yeah, TJ, that is kind of what TJ it was. TJ had, you yeah. know, he had the the autistic innocence. Yeah. So they kind of, you know, he I had, had a good face. I had the autistic face. violence. Yeah, yeah, you were the villain. But yeah. see, being the villain makes you go to the end. And I love Shinji. I'm not even hating on Shinji. I thought Shinji was good. I like TJ. Why are you saying it Shinji? It's just Shinji. Shinji. Well, I, dude, I don't speak uh, Japanese. I called him Shinjin the first time. Yeah, who gives a damn, dude? I'm going to start calling you Brendan. I mean, who, the fuck, who gives a fuck, all right? All right, Alex Steen. Yeah, and I don't mind that. And I like that. Don Lucre gave me a new nickname. He calls me Alex uh. Steen. And uh, Jimmy tried to speak to him. Jimmy only has 4,000 Twitter followers, and he tried to talk to a guy. I have him. more followers than Jimmy. Yeah, I know. You and should. I learned my sure. lesson. I'm a bad person. Oh. Yeah, you're a bad producer, too. A bad father letting your baby hang out with a bunch of freaks smoking cigarettes. Like even us. respect the Gucci jacket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, the Gucci jacket is respectful. No, Don't. no. I, I attack a man's jacket. I attack the man, apparently. A comment okay. on the jacket. Okay, the enough about man. Don Lucre's jacket. Now let's get to Tay Soy Faces oh, while Sam no. destroys things. No. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I, I regretted this. This is so funny. Look at that door. <laughs> this was the day after the punch, so I was like feeling so violent. Deepest fears. Deepest fear. Ah, let's go. Yeah! Gosh, that wall was actually strong oh. as hell. It looks fear like. No more, Shinji. Yeah, thank you. Bastille. <laughs> it's disgusting. Uh. Yeah.
I think that clip's good. Why is that so bad? I mean, bad? I just felt really cringe after doing that. Like I realized, like, oh, that was that was dumb of me. Wait, you thought that was cringe, even though you literally pooped in a, in a bathroom with a camera on? You don't think that was more cringe? I mean, but it was in the bathroom, so that it was, was like blurred, but the still place where it should have been. Yeah, like, it wasn't like Chris, you know, shitting in the pot. Dude, when Chris pooped in that pants. Speaking of, let's bring on. I was shaving my head, but. I know, but let's talk about that. I want to. <laughs> I want to start by talking about. It. So let's bring on my favorite freeloader, very regular guest on the Primetime with Alex Stein program, the one, the only, straight from Ghana, Africa, okay. Dunye. Dunye. Can you hear me? Barely. What the oh, hell are you doing, hey. Dunye? Are you in a car, Dunye? Dunye. Dunye, you got us. You there, buddy? Beaver of course. Street got him. I know, seriously. Yeah, I can hear you. Can, okay, we can hear you. Dunye, point the camera to your face. <laughs> Hold on one second. Dunye. Alex, I had got my car, so I'm in my car right now. Oh, you got a new car. Place. Okay, why don't you park the bitch and then talk to us for a minute. Put the bitch in park, yeah. the one that says oh. P. Okay. <laughs> All right, hold on. Dunye, I can barely hear you. Put, you put, park the damn car, Dunye. Oh, my God. Damn it. Okay, come, one second, one second, one second. I promise I'm coming. I promise. It, I promise. Beaver Street right. is, I think Beaver Street's, like, holding them up. Beaver Street is holding them up. We got this little beaver. We thought we were going to be. I have an announcement to make. I have an announcement to make tonight, too. So. Okay, make the announcement. Right. Make, make it if it's such a big deal. Why don't you show your face when you make it? Dunye, do you know how this works, Dunye? We got thousands of people watching. Yeah, you don't yeah, even know yeah, how to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's your announcement? I'd like to hear. So, your announcement. my announcement today, my fellow fish uh, fans out there, and point it at your face, Dunye. Point the camera at your face. <laughs> we want to see your face. <sighs> Can you not see me? I'm right here. Yeah. Point the camera at your head. It's not that hard. Oh my God. Okay, make your announcement. Okay, so I'm dropping t-shirts that are coming soon. I'm gonna drop a link. I would love for you guys to repost it. Uh, Brandon, if you could. Uh, Beaver Street and Call shirts are coming. So be on the lookout for those and yeah. Okay, you got your plug out of the way. Now let's talk about the show. One of the moments when I saw you break down the most is when Fatty pooped in that pan. Donye, why did that affect you so much, seeing another human being defecate? <laughs> like He's that? shaking his head. <laughs> because for one, for me, it's like, it's a way that you do stuff. So, like, you can <laughs> fucking prove a point without going out of the sanitary fucking E. coli, you know, the whole thing. Like, he just went overboard. And I feel like, like, he just did. I feel like he doesn't have respect for himself. Like, I feel like after seeing it, like, he really doesn't respect himself. And we don't have a picture and of the pan, but remember, you felt really bad for the pan, don't you? You remember, you were like, <laughs> you're like, that poor pan is a waste. I want to cook with that pan. Do you remember the empathy you had for because, that poor pan? Because it was a good pan. That was a fucking great pan. <laughs> and we all, pan. like, we cook it out. <laughs> Shit was little. He had a little ass fucking turd and he could have used anything else, but he wanted to put it in there. And it's like, why would you do that? Well, he's he's 500 pounds. Don't you think he needed like something that he could, you know, a big landing pad? Oh, oh, so you see, I didn't even think about that. Like, I swear. I was just like, <laughs> I forgot all about that. I'm not lying. I no, but I'm just saying, I, I don't remember what he did. He said he squat. So for the people that are playing at home, um, Airsoft Fatty, Chris, he's a guy that's on the show. He's hilarious, but he's like about 450 pounds. And at one point, he defecated on a pan with the idea that he was going to throw it on Trish. No, she was going to eat it. She was going to eat it. Oh, yeah, she was going to eat it. I could hear that from the attic. Yeah. They were trying to make her eat it. What well, she Alex, they also, they said you can either cut your, shave your head or eat the shit. Yeah. And she kind of had a bit of a breakdown and was like, I'd rather eat the shit. Oh, my <laughs> Now it's shaving my head. I know, so shaving your head is not that big a deal. Like, I already got a wig. <laughs> is that funny, Dunye? It is, because, like, for me, I thought Trish was going to shave her head. But, like, I, I, it would have been more funny because, like, I knew she was going to be in fourth place out of, like, the top three. So I thought Taylor would like, beat Shinji. Can you believe Taylor got third? 
Well, honestly, I don't think they wanted another female to win. So you got a point. Maybe not. But I mean, like we were saying earlier, Haley was the villain, and the villain oftentimes always gets second or third. That's just how it works for whatever reason. So do you think yeah. she was the biggest villain in the house? Um, yeah, like the uh, not at first. Like I feel like she was the next thing next to Jimmy. So yeah, like once Jimmy left, she became the villain. And speaking of, we're going to talk to Jimmy here in a second. If you can ever get your phone to work, I don't know why you're showing your face like that. Okay, well let's just bring right. him on right now. Well, I don't even know if we have four boxes. How are we going to show everybody, Brandon? Just have to. You want to drop Tay? I guess or you. Me and Tay could be in a box together. <gasps> let's welcome on Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy! Jimmy with the trombone or trumpet right there. Whoa. It's just in case. It's just in case. Jimmy, welcome to the show. Dunya <laughs> just said you, that you were the number one villain, and I thought Taylor was the number one villain. So what is it like being a popular villain on a reality TV show? Uh, I really didn't want to be the villain. That's uh, <laughs> Obviously, when things get edited, you'll see me bawling my eyes out in the basement, to be honest, in front of like them being like, I don't want to do this. I hate being angry. I hate being mean. And, well, you saw how it was like, they wanted me to be the villain, so it was just like, okay, we just need to keep putting pressure on him. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you guys became good friends, Dunya. You and Jimmy, y'all kind of bonded in the house. You really had his back. Mm -hmm. uh, so what was that connection like? Why did you guys uh, become teammates, basically, or friends so fast? Uh, well, uh, Jimmy can go first, I guess. I was just honestly going to say that's that's up to Dunya, really. Uh, I just walked in, called him brother. Uh, when he first arrived, I refused <laughs> to say Ooga Booga. Yeah, I I think like for Wait, me, you didn't I... say Ooga Booga or do the blackface, Jimmy? I, I, I was not blackface, but <laughs> the second I heard Dunya, I said, oh, that's I why we're doing were, this. I yeah. knew they were going to do that. I know, you were, I you were saying it. Ooga Booga. Yeah. I saw Taylor saying Ooga Booga. So I what did, what did you think, Dunya, when you saw a bunch of white guys doing African <laughs> chants covered in blackface? Did you think that, that was a weird uh, situation well, to walk into? Honestly, when I got there, like, I didn't fucking think about it. Like, I thought that they were, like, doing facial routines. <laughs> yeah, but did, then, like... Did. But, like, I think, like, 25 minutes later and I heard the Ooga Booga, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> like, but, yeah. It, I mean, it was it didn't bother me. It was funny as hell once I thought about it. And, and Dunya, did everybody in the house call you the N-word? Because Jimmy used the N-word a lot, right? Um, Jimmy did. <laughs> but uh, I think Brian might have used it once, like, but not only one time, but... Trish used it, and I think, yeah. Jimmy was the only one that caught me at, like, you know, nigga. But it could be, like, <laughs> playing or seriously. So, Jimmy, what the no, heck, dude? Weird. Yeah, and, and you're on a reality. I said it, too. Yeah, but, okay, let's be real. Everybody said the word. Oh, but, uh, Jimmy, tell the people, though, the mental warfare, what it's like being on a show where you're under surveillance 24-7. So it's not so much the fact that you're under surveillance 24-7 that got to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, there's a there's a bunch of different things at play here. Uh, so what people have to realize it's like it's like high school or grade school, but infinitely worse. Uh, because right. unlike high school or grade school, you can't go into a corner and cry or try to give yourself a pep talk. Otherwise, someone's going to show up with a really expensive camera and shove it in your face <laughs> and likely do <laughs> shit to make the situation worse for you emotionally. So it's like, you got, you really got to keep that shit bottled up. And there's like no breaks from mean voices or none of that shit. Like, What about the text no to speech? Place. Dunya handled the text to speech well. Did that affect you, Jimmy? Uh, it would be people that I'm dealing with while there, like physically, they'd get me riled up to a point. And then when I'd go to try and like relax, that's when the text to speech would get to me a bit. But if anything, like you saw throughout the show, it wouldn't defeat me or hurt me in the way they wanted to hurt me. I'd just say square the fuck up in real life after the show. <laughs> like, well, you, you ended up squaring much. up. We're going to play a clip of that later, but you ended up into how many boxing uh, matches did you do, uh, Jimmy? Two or one? Uh, I think technically one, two, four. Oh, four. And then uh, Dunya, who did you box? Dunya actually boxed really well. 
I boxed a fucking Oliver. Yeah, dude, you did well with Oliver, dude. Were you there, Jimmy, for that, or were you were you already gone? Uh, uh I was gone for that. That was either when I first left after the mallet incident, or after I had left uh after the second time. Well, we're gonna get into the mallet incident, but let's play one of the boxing matches. Do we have Dunye or Jimmy's match? We got we got Jimmy's. We have okay. the end, well, we have the end of Jimmy's. Okay, well, let's play one of Jimmy's uh, boxing match, the legendary one. Is that the one where Sam got mad? Okay, let's just play that, and then this is a controversial uh, clip. If we can find it, but so this so so this is so this is Jimmy. Say, you quit. came back on the say show. I quit, Jimmy. No. Stop fucking around like a third grader. Say I quit. I quit the show. Bye bye. Bye bye. Quit the show. <laughs> Yeah! 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 Square. You did not cheat. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You fought a trans square. Yeah, I did. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
That's okay. I think so. And I, I feel like, I feel like he could have been in the tank longer as a uh, freeloader if he had to just like, you know, thought it out. Oh, of course. But like, uh, and like I said, like I, like I've been telling everyone, I see myself as a huge fuck up for uh, both instances. Well, uh, you're still young. Let me, let me actually white knight for you a little bit. Don't beat yourself up. You're on a weird show. You're going to act crazy. Like that's part of it. I it, don't, it was just so, it was just more so not even just losing, but they kept pushing and pushing and pushing. I was getting angrier and angrier and angrier. And I kind of thought to myself, either I risk actually going to prison for practically turning this shit into a snuff film or attempting to. Why? You're going to kill people? Why? No, 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 Wait, wait, I want to get, I want to get more into this. No, I know, I know. In a video game. you take the boxing gloves, right? On And it's like, okay, now now I'm barehanded fighting this guy. And you're going to rip his eyeballs out? Is that what you're trying to do? No, it's it's essentially like, on top of, you know, the fact that when you're punching someone without the gloves, like, you know, the old uh, boxing cheating method where they take out all the uh, stuffing Padding. in their gloves. Yeah, 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 yeah. It hurts uh, Not Well, yeah, not only does it, like, hurt a lot worse, but I didn't trust myself. Because you, you saw me during that fight. Like, I was actually really that mad. I wish you weren't really that mad. really going at him. I know, because you got Sam mad, too. You can just tell that energy, you know, it just it's like, man, it's like magnetic. It's like low vibrational or high vibrational. You're in this vibrational state. And it kind of raises everybody's anxiety and just makes everybody on edge. Okay, Dunye, we're about to kick you off. We're gonna uh, plug your T-shirt line. Uh, Not Dunye. Yeah, well, Dunye, they're gonna be. Yeah, they're gonna be. Uh, are they gonna be sure cheap I'm African shirts? Or are they gonna be good, strong American cotton? Because we don't want to buy a bunch of Ghana shirts. We're gonna rip after the first time you wash them. No, they're gonna fucking. They're all gonna be uh, fish tank related. Um, I'm gonna drop a link tonight on Instagram and on uh, Twitter. But yeah, I the, swear the if I wash it and any of the logos fall off in the first wash, I'm gonna gas you. I'm Fine, gonna, I promise I'm you gonna flamethrower you, burn your ass on the internet, metaphorically. Actually, the guy who made my shirts are making them. You know him. He made shirts for you. So no, I, Atticus I, I, never I, made shirts for me. Atticus is the worst manager person I've ever had. I had to fire him. He's terrible. Uh, are he, you he's serious? A, yeah, he's a backstabber. He's a backstabber. He went and spoke bad about a lot. He spoke bad about you, as a matter of fact. I'm not even kidding. So that's a fact. We'll find the tweet. So uh, Atticus is a snake, and I don't really like him right now. So uh, <laughs> be careful with that. And he probably uh, is going to use some sort of cheap Chinese brand with those shirts to try to get a big markup. So they're going to be low quality, <laughs> I guarantee it. Oh, my fucking uh, God. I do just want to say, not- Brother Dunye, I, I understand <laughs> you thinking that I have uh, really bad anger issues. I swear to you upon what little I hold dear, it was just for that show environment. Because like I said, it was like, no, school, I know that. Worse. Like, I, I yeah. know, like, everybody was pushed to their limits, but I feel like, you know, it, it was a, like everybody was targeting you for sure because they knew, like, they could fuck with you. So, like, yeah. Well, Both. listen, it, it's a, it's a, it's a very unique situation. It's a social experiment. So do not beat yourself up, Jimmy. And uh, Dunya, you did a hell of a job. You made me proud. You made everybody here at uh, Primetime with Alex Stein proud. And uh, I think you have a bright future going on these and creating more fish tank content. So, Dunye, we're going to support you by shutting out that link. And if you guys want to support Dunye, go buy one of those shirts. They're probably going to be low quality and very bad. And they're probably going to be ripped. No very low soon. quality style. Well, Don't fucking say that. I'm going to repost. I'm going to repost your shit, Dunye. I got your back. He's got your back. Thank All right. You. All right, Dunye, get the All hell right. out of here in your new car. Do not get pulled over. Oh. Did he Did he just hang up? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. Bye. Wow, gosh. Dunye, I, I love how he's talking about this interview all day. He's going to fly in town and then doesn't even have the decency to be parked <laughs> to talk to us. He's been talking about it like crazy. Okay, so Jimmy, is Jimmy there? I'm here. So we got Taylee right here. And I know that you had some, you know, um, conflict in the house. So we want to play a clip. Let's play the mallet clip, oh. Brandon. Uh-oh. Yeah, I know. This clip is legendary. A lot of memes. Guys, look how dirty Taylor's chair is. We need somebody to clean that. That's paintballs. Is it? Uh, yeah, there's, we shot some paintballs on set. I have I have paintball marks from the Swamp Olympics. Oh, wow. Like, Your hand TJ, is still scarred. Yeah, TJ got me in the finger. Oh, my gosh. That's actually bad. Alex has a lot of them, burns. if you look. I know. I have a yeah. lot of scars I and I still cuts. have that wound that you... Oh, you you still have that from the Trash yeah, Mountain? Yeah, I still have that wound that you... You, I did doctor it up. Yeah. I'm somewhat of a doctor. You mended my wound. I'm a medical professional. I'm not a doctor. All right. Um, it is different. I sell medical supplies like gauze and pills. Oh, nice. You want to buy some pills? 
What kind? Don't worry about it. Just take them. The kind that you accused me of taking? Yes. Oh, oh we got to talk about that. <laughs> oh, and actually, come on here. Melinda, just real quick. Come on oh, here. Just no. Grab that chair. Melinda, grab that chair. Roll that oh, chair. Just real mom. quick, because we have, we have your mom. We just want to talk for a second. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Here, let me get it. I'll get it for you. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on, Mama. Come over here. So this oh, is Melinda. No. This is Taylor's mom. Hi, Melinda. Taylor's mom. Yes. <laughs> You see, Jimmy, she probably, she might not be able to hear you. I don't know if you Jimmy can. Jimmy said hi. You can play it through the loudspeaker. She doesn't have an IFB. Oh, but let no. me just ask Melinda a couple questions. So, Melinda, your daughter, you probably don't know who Sam Hyde is, but he's a legendary content creator. He had a show on Adult Swim that got canceled because another guy at the network didn't like him. Long story short, the guy's super talented, and he kind of got blackballed by the top major network, so he had to create his own thing. And Fish Tank, he did season one. I participated in that. And then season two, so did you know anything about Fish Tank or Sam Hyde or any of this? No, not until she came to me and was, for months, was talking about it and going through all the steps and everything. And I'm thinking, what is this? Is this a cult? What is this? <laughs> yeah. What is, this? what is she getting herself into? And, you know, I had no idea. Um, but when I started watching it, I was glued. No. Yes, I was totally glued. Um, any would you watch the clips, <laughs> Melinda, or would you watch the whole show just I live? I was watching it live. Okay, I would be in the store with headphones on, you know, oh, doing my God. business. And would you switch screens? Or, or would you, yeah. Oh, so you just be oh, yeah. I was watching it on my TV, and then I was watching it, you know, on my phone where I could switch rooms. Yeah. You know, oh, and God. it was an emotional oh. roller coaster for me because, you know, seeing what she was going through. and But um, but I will say, Donye was super annoying at first. Ha! <laughs> but, but Donye... <laughs> I do like you because you you made the show very entertaining. Yeah, I could hear his caca always all <laughs> through the house, but you know he was just he was there for Taylor. Yeah, and he supported her when everybody else was against her because she's such a competitor. She really is, and and I know Tay played softball. Is that why she's yes. such a competitor? She's an athlete. She yes, she knew when she was on the field she was a beast. Yeah. You know? And it's just that mindset she was in when it was, you know, time to compete. And people don't know what East Texas people are like. You know, they don't realize people from <laughs> East Texas are tough. Yeah, they are. They don't get that, though. You know, they, they, I mean, Jimmy, Jimmy's from Utah. I'm sure you're tough in Utah, but I'm telling you. Oh, I'm not from Utah. No, I'm from Pennsylvania. From oh, Pennsylvania. Okay, sorry. I thought you said the Utah thing. Oh, wait, look at who is that? Your arch nemesis. Who is that? Let's just let's go back to that. That's Taylor. And Jimmy, who had beef over what was y'all beefing about? Uh, uh, we got the clip. Wait, let's play the clip. Let's real play quick. the clip. Watch the beef ages ago. Let's yeah. watch oh, the yeah. clip, she, Jimmy. She eat We're the gonna bread. decide now. Let's watch the clip. All right, That's so this the is wrong the woman. No, this is the it, mallet one. The wrong <laughs> We're gonna play this both of them. Just play, it. Just play it. Just play this clip. Okay, she's about to bust up a Fisher Price phone. <laughs> smash it! Smash it! Smash, 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 oh, smash, they smashed the Fisher Price. Smash, 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 He's got one. Pick it up, call me, Jimmy. Don't you ever oh, God. Jimmy, Don't that's too him. much. No, Jimmy, stop. Yeah, stop. Stop, Jimmy. That's what I was saying. Wow, one more time. Look how scary you are. Jimmy, look at that. No. Jimmy. No. What is going through your head right oh, here? Oh, no. Uh, so that was a very long week and a half, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I'd say so. And As you can so, see. So day, so day one, when she arrived, she was just mean to me. I was like, okay, not this again. I'm going to try to just really be nice to her and make her laugh. I even brushed my teeth with uh, bleach. I went into the bathroom. This is when uh, after... You know, we got swatted where we broke the dimension. Yeah. And so, you know, to yeah. make her laugh, like, I brushed my teeth with bleach. And was just like, hey, look, please. Please don't fuck me over. Please don't do this. And just countless times I kept trying to squash shit. Uh, and meanwhile, you know, this is still when I had to walk the tightrope of don't get mad whatsoever. But everyone else can get mad. And then it was just, again shit not being evenly enforced with me which made me even matter and then trish getting to change the doghouse game where it's supposed to be a singing competition and then me just going up there and it's like tunnel vision immediately because 
All so for I was Fisher told Price when I got, phone, I was, though. No, Come so on, Jimmy. I was told I mean, when I got that. I was told when I got that from Jet. This is a very expensive phone. Guard it with your life. And I took that to heart. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. You almost killed a woman for yeah, it. Yeah, Alex, let's play the other one, too. Because no, there was one other incident. I thought it was like a childhood trauma. Yeah, we thought it was childhood. Okay, watch this clip, Jimmy. Oh, my vomit. Shut the fuck up. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. You eat that bread like you promised. Shut the fuck up. This is when I almost fought Jimmy, too. I took my sister to a nudie bar in Mexico. Are you going to do your work? Or grab you by the hair and throw it down the hallway? You think I care about prison? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fight me! Oh, oh what? No, 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 no. Dude, oh. Jimmy! <laughs> yeah, now, Jimmy, we brought on Taylor. I was to apologize. It's just the heat of the moment. It's like, you said you were going to eat the bread, bro. You said you were going to eat the bread. Okay. Even if a girl doesn't eat the bread for you, you cannot... Don't even raise your voice. Oh it's just like... With with her looking like it's like no 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 just like no I don't care what she looks like I don't hear any doesn't matter I don't care about anything you're gonna say I want you to not get physical with a girl in this house okay you can't do it pretty it's pretty simple rules right there but yeah. Taylor <laughs> were you scared to death when Jimmy came at you like a rabid pit bull I mean when it first happened I wasn't really scared I was kind of just like. I kind of just like stared at him the whole time being like, what are you going to do about it? But right after the fact, I was told to go into the basement. And in the basement, I think I stayed for like 40 minutes. I was just like violently like shaking, probably from the nicotine too. And I was just like crying and shaking in the basement for a little bit. From all the cigarette smoke? But you guys- The cigarette smoke, the, the Jimmy thing that happened, like everything. I was just kind of like- <laughs> It, it was a brutal, it was a brutal challenge, that challenge. That was a we, tough challenge. That was the day Dunye got there, too. I, that, my, my eyes in that room, we were in, uh, I don't know if you remember this, Taylor, but me shutting my eyes, that was because it was just all getting in there. And it's like, oh, God, this burns. No, in the room, yeah. My eyes burned, my lungs burned. Like, it sucked. So do you guys? So you guys made up though, right? You guys don't hate each other. Well, yeah, Taylor. Can oh. you can you eat yeah. the bread can you for Jimmy? Bread for him. Yeah. For Jimmy, one piece of bread. Just take one bite. How does that make you feel, Jimmy? Look oh. at that. <laughs> She's eating the bread. Happy. I. She's I mean, to be it. fair, the the reason why I had to stop eating the hot dogs is because with everyone puking right next to me, I was about to puke. And if I puke, because my body is so resistant to puke, if I throw up, I'm passed out. Like. <laughs> And then I'm just completely out of it. Alex, I'm not sure you're going to be able to set that on fire. Yeah, it's not flammable. I don't yeah. know if you guys can get a close-up yeah, shot Jimmy, of Jimmy, this. Jimmy, I wore a shirt in your honor. Here. How do you like my shirt, Jimmy? Yeah, it won't catch fire. Oh, I, got, I, got no. the, I got the flame underneath it. Maybe if I light the string on fire. You want to I mean, yeah, that usually works. Yeah, but it's just don't melting. Don't your employers, whatever you do. No, it's okay. We burn a lot of stuff on this show. Uh, you can't burn my employers. Is this making you, is this making you anxious, uh, uh, watching me do this? Well, no, it's just that you're about to get cursed. Why am I going to get cursed? Because you just released you... your... Does this say you just... that? You're, release... you're releasing the employers from the phone, Alex. Well, you can't do that. Well, I'm about to that. release a bunch of stuff. I don't know if it can see me, but yeah, let's get the handhold. Does this make uh -oh. you feel sketchy when I go like that? Like, why does it ever Smash play? it. Smash why it. Why won't smash it smash? It. I need my baseball smash bat. I need smash my... it. Smash it. Smash it. It won't freaking... Smash it. Smash it. It won't break. <laughs> it literally will not freaking break. Hold on. It's because Beaver Street's guarding it. Yeah, Beaver Street. Let me see this. We got a shake weight. This might smash it. I don't know if this will... Ah! 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 It's doing it. Ah! It's doing it. Ah! There we go. He's doing ah! it. He's cursing himself. Ah! I am cursing myself, but it won't break. Okay, now it's starting to break a little bit. Are you nervous? Does this make you feel weird? You about to see the inside? Nope. Yeah, a little bit, right? Well, it's just making me nervous for you. Why? Why am I gonna get bad? Am I gonna get bad luck? Yeah, you're not supposed like to release the employers from the phone. Right you're an employee. You're supposed to know this. Oh, no. Here, oh. there it is. There's your Fisher Price bullshit right there. Broken. It only took me about 25 tries. <laughs> okay, Jimmy. Jimmy, I actually wore a shirt in your honor tonight. If I figured you'd like that. 
Yeah, why do you hate, <laughs> why do you hate Mormons? What's your deal with Mormons? Uh, they run the majority of the uh, troubled teen industry programs. Uh, are you familiar with Elon Academy? I'm actually very familiar with these programs. Paris Hilton went to one and got abused. So did you go to one of these programs, Jimmy? One of these like uh, uh yeah, they... my mom forged yeah my mom forged a 302 signature. Uh, my sister got sent to elevations, uh, because a shithole quaker run boarding school called west town school drove her to suicide uh they're the first well, they're one of the first places to start teaching critical race theory uh, and they've just been allowing a lot of the students to be sexually violated there for decades now what, wait jimmy uh, that's terrible is that a boarding school or is it one of those like you know how they make you go uh, no so it's a it's a boarding school it's quaker run they force they force a lot of uh any revolutionary uh psychological ideas like critical race theory uh they were big into the pauper's homes back in the day uh when it was deemed in the early 1900s that pauper was like a mental defect or something uh and like i said i've met west town school alumni who were like now in their mid 40s who said yeah that place is a notorious bad touch school uh, it's still going on to this day where they're did just anybody allowing... touch you jimmy did anybody ever touch you uh, i was i never i never went to that school Thank God. They probably wouldn't have molested you. You're not that handsome. Uh, yeah, they probably wouldn't have. I mean, <laughs> on top of which, They're it's like, just I a bad idea. A it's it's just a bad idea to have me in the school when boy. you're letting that stuff happen to me because it's like all the gas lines are right there, you know? It's like if I'm going to be there 24-7, uh, I'll find a way to get to those gas lines. And do what to the gas lines? Uh, an accident. At least, hey, that that, is that's school what I'm shooter vibes right now. Why are we? Why, why are whoa, we talking, whoa, you're talking whoa, about the whoa, gas whoa. lines at your school? Whoa. Sabotaging gas lines? Well, I'm saying if I was at West Town instead of my sister, I would have gone for the gas lines. Jimmy, the if fact I, that you know about the gas lines is scary. I don't even know how to get to the gas line. Or all they had to do was not allow students to be sexually violated and force the victims to take these quaker based i agree with you on that classes. i agree with you on that but still you don't need to go to the gas lines the gas line this is not the holocaust we don't need any gas dude whoa, right? whoa, not that kind of gas well what kind of gas <laughs> are you talking about you're trying to gas people uh, the heating gas the heating gas they didn't use that they didn't use that in the uh in auschwitz or anything they used the uh smelly kind of gas oh my god i'm talking about the flammable heating gas. gas okay enough about gas i'm about to start passing gas i actually have a little irritable bowel going on right now but before we do that are you going to apologize to sweet Taylor, who lost her job, who sacrificed her whole I am, entire I am. life? Yeah, and, and her YouTube channel allegedly got mass reported. Yeah, did you yeah, mass report so her YouTube <laughs> channel? That, did I, you I mass report why. it? No, I didn't mass report it. I don't think you did. I don't know, Jimmy, you have to understand, you have a lot of people who are retarded that follow you, <laughs> and they do some stupid things. You're going to have You have to understand the power you have now. You have to be a leader of men. That is true. You do need to be yeah, a leader. Yeah, a lot of people keep saying that, but they don't understand. You cannot control the actions of individuals. Uh, if you look throughout just all the different online discords, there's just a massive group of people who just don't like any of the fish or any of the freeloaders or anyone really and like they just get off on like making everyone fucking miserable yeah but they like uh, you no but, like, no but jimmy has a oh, point no. though no they don't like me you saw them like try to set me up where it's like oh yeah look it's jimmy in chat and for some reason he's paying money he's paying money for some reason to insult trish and it's like if i want to do that i could just do that for free on twitter <laughs> <laughs> and they're yeah. trying to get that whole war started. Well, well apologize to Taylor like, anyways. Oh, yeah. Apologize to oh, yeah. She yeah, ate the bread. Just, yeah, she did just, eat the bread. Yeah, let's just, let's I, just get this. As, as I told you when he painted on my Joker makeup, I am sincerely sorry for blowing up at you then. And as I've told people, like, I really hate blowing up. And I have no pride in my actions when I did blow up. Uh, and uh, I'm yeah, honest to God, really. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Why did you think I was Mormon? <laughs> I think I was just you so called angry. You me a Mormon someone... bitch. What was <laughs> so, that about? I I thought to myself like, okay, what if it this is this was just me like going into that mindset? So I'm just connecting dots that aren't there. Uh, so you think every and I thought, okay, my experience... hair, blue eyes girl is Mormon? That makes oh, no well, sense. Actually, a lot a lot of them are. A lot of them are. Especially <laughs> yeah, they're also know. fine as hell. I went to BYU. The Mormon chick's pretty hot. There's hot Mormons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Is that why you thought Taylor was Mormon? Stop abusing children. I'm, I'm just saying, like, you, you looks you only get you so far. Just look at Ghislaine Maxwell. Massive honkers couldn't what stop. What about uh... Ghislaine Maxwell? <laughs> Show all three of us. What are you talking about? Why are we talking about Jeffrey Epstein's uh, uh, apprentice? Uh, because, the because look, I'm just saying, you know, uh, when it comes to abusing kids, uh, Mormon women and Ghislaine Maxwell are just like that. What the hell no are sense. you talking about?
about? You're making no Jimmy's sense. Hey, right hey, now. There's, there's, there's a lot of You don't think that's an overgeneralization of Mormon no, no, people? No, no, there's a lot of women in those. <laughs> You're comparing uh, every Mormon, Mormon with the world's CTI most famous programs. pedophile. Uh, a more a Mormon female nurse gave my sister electroshock therapy after convincing my dad that need to happen in the Salt Lake City Hospital. So, uh, you know, well, she doesn't there's, run there's the religion. She's not abuse. John Smith. She's some dumb hoe working at a freaking <laughs> hospital. Joseph all Joseph and all she had to do was say Joseph no and do Smith. the right thing, but she didn't. I'm, I'm so just saying, but yeah, that, that's why I thought you were more is because it's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> they brought my arch nemesis here to really fuck with me. Blonde hair, blue eyes, being mean to me, doing that mean uh questionnaire. <laughs> and it was just like let me tell you what I think it is. It was real about Taylor, sex life. Taylor, no, that I wasn't want, mean. I, I want you to talk to him, but I just want to say this, Taylor. Don't you think that and they used to do this in kindergarten? The really pretty girl, they would you'd almost like if you liked a girl, you'd kind of be mean to her. You know what I mean, Taylor? You remember that? Like that's kind of like a defense mechanism, like you really like the girl, but you're mean. Do you think Jimmy might have been uh, sexually attracted and he was being mean to you, kind of like that immature way of it, you know fawning over? No, you? because I, I'm not attracted to women who are taken. I'm not a home wrecker. And like TJ already claimed his mark at that point. It's like, no, nah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I don't try think to slide your penis in there. knows if she's in a relationship, right? I mean uh, <laughs> I forced my penis to understand that. I don't think it works like that, Jimmy. I don't it does think... it does too work like that. So you're telling me if she was powerful. butt naked at your house right now, you would just sit there with a limp wiener <laughs> talking about her boyfriend the okay, whole time. Okay, well, first off, that's a completely here. different scenario because why would she be at my house butt naked? I'm not saying she would trap. ever be. I'm just saying you're saying, Oh, I'm not attracted to people that are in a relationship. I don't think it I don't think well, your no, genitals like if, work if like that. She came here and it's like I <laughs> and like I knew she was in a relationship, I'd say, Hey, I'm really flattered. I can't do this. You're in and a you relationship. You would grab what, a mallet and hit her in the head with no. it? I'd say, please leave. I'll give you a bunch of Hoarder Man's inventory. Just please leave. I'm really sorry. You're a very pretty woman, but I'm not a home wrecker. That's pretty admirable. Okay, Taylor, how can we rectify the relationship between you guys? Because you're losing your YouTube channel, even though you need to make a new one. I'm just saying, I, I want to make it where you guys oh, have... I, I got my YouTube back. Okay, good. I got it back. Thank God. Okay, thank God. So let's try to mend the fences a little bit, because guys, sadly, I mean, I, I know this sounds... It's not, not a sad thing, but you guys are going to be locked together in a relationship for life now. Like, there's other shows that I was on, reality shows. I know that sounds weird, like Castmates. You're, you're gonna, Ten years from now, you're going to be like, oh, we had that experience together. And most of the time when it was bad and you give it some time, you look back, it's actually, you look at it fondly, even during, during the bad times. So I'm saying, let's just cut, you know, let's just cut the corner or whatever the saying is. And why don't you guys become friends now? Because it's inevitable that you guys will, you guys trauma bonded in that house. Whether you believe it or not, you guys trauma bonded. <laughs> oh, so, like. Like I've said, uh, a lot of the stuff I was doing after I got kicked out the second time uh, due to NDA, I can't really say, but that was with permission. Those are just shit posts <clears throat> for the most part to just ramp things up and just be silly. Ramp it like, up, again, and just... we want you to ramp it up and be silly. Jimmy, I'm telling you, do not change. Be yourself. You're very funny. You're very entertaining on the show. And if anything, if anything, they wanted you on the show more. I think the audience wanted you on the show more. And, get, and I guarantee you, you're going to have more opportunities with Sam, with Fish Tank in the future. So don't look at this like a door is closing. Look at it like a door is opening, uh, and even though if it doesn't feel like that. Taylor, rectify this. How do we fix this before you go? Because I can tell you're still grumpy, Adam. You're still mad. I can give you like 10 extra guitars from Hoarder Mans. I see that you've begun a nice collection. <laughs> yeah, what can you give her? Uh, 40s guitars. Do you want those guitars? Um, I'll take one. I'll take one of them. Okay. One guitar. Okay. I cannot. I cannot promise it's not haunted. Can I also? Can I get a video of Hoarder Man saying hi to me? Uh, I want to see proof of this guy because I don't believe he okay, like so, exists. So honestly, honest to God, if you do DM me and if you swear upon what Lily you hold dear, you will keep his identity a secret. I'm more than happy to prove to you he does I exist. I promise. It's it's just that like again he's a very 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 sweet and loving man. Uh, he's like a grandfather to me. Despite I will his not condition. dogs hoarder man. Yeah, you thank have you. my word. Thank okay, you. before we go, because we got to end the show, will you apologize real quick? Just I'm in the fence, so we can get that. On <laughs> I'm very record. sorry for yelling you at you again. I I really didn't like doing that, and I obviously I had meant to, but in the sense where again everything had just built up and I just exploded, and that was fucked up of me. Apology accepted, yes or no, Taylor? Apology accepted, shit happens. Sometimes you gotta Thank punch you. a woman, I guess. Sometimes you gotta punch a woman. <laughs> oh, I Sometimes you gotta, I, I punched Michelle Obama. I mean, even though she has a <laughs> penis, uh, I still was punching a woman, technically. All right.
We love you guys. Get out of here. We got to end the show. All right. Thank you, Taylor. And we'll talk to you guys again. We'll have you on again because we got to catch up. And uh, we love you guys. All right. Tay, before we go, tell the people where they can find you and how they can support you. Um, you can find me at Button Eye Crochet on Instagram. Um, on Twitter, it is Button Eye Crochet uh, with no ET at the end. And my YouTube is Taylee, uh, but with a V for the A and a three for the E. Okay, let me tell you this, Melinda. I worked on a lot of reality shows, and oftentimes the people that become most successful after the reality show, show me so we get this on camera, show me. I'm telling you, oftentimes you can look back at reality shows, Survivor, uh, Matt Hasselback, this quarterback for the NFL, his wife, Elizabeth Hasselback, she was on Survivor. She didn't even win the show, and she ended up becoming like a host on the Today Show. My point is I've done enough research about reality shows. Oftentimes the person that becomes most successful after the show isn't the person that won it. So, Melinda... You have a lot to be proud about. You've raised a daughter that's tough. She's never going to let, you know, anybody, even when they try to get her down, she's going to get back up. They knock her down, she's going to get back up. And so you did a great job as a mom. Hey, you competed your ass off. You deserve to win. But like I said, you don't know what opportunities are going to come from finishing even at third place. So don't beat yourself up. You did a hell yeah, of a job. Yeah, I'm not mad about it. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys, this has been our show. We, we end the show the same way every time, but I also want to thank Jimmy and Dunye so much. And, and uh, we do this every show. And Jimmy's daughter. You know, is this good? I don't know. Is this good for computer screens? No, Taylor, we don't thank our Jimmy. He's, oh, we don't? This, no. Okay, what? okay, sorry. Fuck Jimmy. Dude, this, Fuck y'all's Jimmy. Sorry. Dude, this water didn't even My do bad. anything to this computer screen. It's because Beaver Street's protecting it. Do we have any towels? No. I hate computers! I hate Freaking computer so damn much. I hate them. Do you guys ever use these damn computers? They're freaking terrible. Melinda, when's the last time you used a computer? Do they have these in East Texas? Uh, yeah. They suck. <laughs> they suck. I hate these damn computers. Nice. All right, guys, that's been our show. We end the show the same way every time with a freestyle finale. DJ, hit that beat. Can I hit him? With, can I hit? Him? Yeah, you can hit. You can burn. Yeah, smash it. Smash, smash it. it. Burn it. Fuck you, Beaver Street. Beaver Street, you can suck on my feet. Kiss my toes in my clothes. I'm always with fine ass hoes. I'm a pimp on a blimp. Melinda is my favorite mom. That's why I rap and sing this song. Smoke a cigarette, leave the mom wet. I'm gonna drive a new Corvette. All right, guys, this has been our show. Make sure to hit the like button.